Welcome everybody to another faith-filled learning video. The Tower of Babel from Genesis 11, 1 through 9. After the great flood, Noah's sons and their wives began to have children who grew up and had more children. Soon, there were again many families on the earth. The families covered much land, but they all still spoke the same language. As they journeyed from the east, they came to the plain of Shinar. This would be a grand place for us to settle down, they said. Why should we go any farther? Let's stay here and be comfortable, and let us make of ourselves a great nation. We do not want to be scattered all over the world. Let's build a splendid city with a huge tower at its center, so tall it will reach the sky. Their hearts were full of pride and their own self-importance as they said, Look what we have done and what we will do. So the people started to build their tower. They found that the soil could be made into bricks and heated to make them hard. And they found tar, which they used for mortar to build to bind the bricks together. Everyone helped, and soon the tower began to grow quite high. Day after day and week after week, the world's first skyscraper began to rise above the plain of Shinar. God saw what they were doing. He knew that they had left him out of their lives, thinking only of how clever they were. They could not reach heaven by building a tower. God also knew that there would be no end to the schemes that, that they would make to go their own foolish ways. Soon they would become as evil as the people who had lived before the flood. For their own good, God had to stop them, and he did by causing them to speak different languages. Today many different languages are spoken like Spanish, French, and German, but back then all people spoke the same language. One morning, when the people came to work on, a, on the tower, something amazing happened. Suddenly, throughout the city, people were not speaking the same language anymore. They could not understand each other. Oh, oh, oh. Si, sí, senor. Oh, do, do. One man would ask, May I borrow your tools? And the other man would think he had asked for some bricks. All was confusion. They became frustrated. No matter how loud they shouted, they couldn't make themselves understand, understood. Nothing was getting accomplished. Finally, one man said to his family, This is much too confusing. Let's move. Soon others did the same. Slowly, groups formed after discovering they had the same language. People stayed together with those they would communicate with and understand. At last, no one was left to continue building the tower. It became known as the Tower of Babel. The word Babel means mixed up or confused. Some people refer to it as the Tower of Babel. God had shown that as clever as the people of Babel were, they couldn't accomplish anything of lasting value if they wouldn't honor and obey God. However good the work is that we are doing, it will fail if God doesn't bless it. That's why we should always consult God in prayer that our plans will be according to His plan for our lives. The memory verse for today is, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain who built it. Psalm 127 verse 1 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.